and go for big hair. If you don't have hair like mine, I grow hair, you know, just back home a little bit and you know, go for big hair. It's Monday. Yes, I'm allowed to do this gesture because of these sleeves. I know the video is all about styling denim jeans, but of course I've got to include my refashioned items. Since I do not make jeans, um, yes I will refashion jeans. And this is a video that is for one of subscribers who's not sure how to refashion jeans. I think jeans are one of the most versatile garments that you can wear. Definitely one of the most hard wearing. And there's so many different styles of jeans that are out there as well. Um, that I tend to collect rather than the traditional type of style of jean that we kind of recognise as being the jean, if that makes sense. So the jeans that I'm wearing today are a, it is a typical style of jeans, it's a low rise, let me show you, and it's wax. So when I was thinking about this, it's like I'm struggling a little bit because I don't want the video to be about necessarily my refashion makes, but obviously I, I will be wearing refashioned items with my jeans. So the reason why I chose these jeans is because of the wax look to them. And also with the wax look, there's a sheen that's going on with them and with that sheen there's an undertone of white so I chose this top in order to help give the jeans a little bit more attention but not too much attention so I've gone for the skinny jeans because it's the only skinny jean that I have in the wax look and also it's a case of when you're styling jeans it's don't play too much emphasis and perhaps the jeans style, make the jeans complement whatever it is you're working. Try and find that happy balance. So with this one, what I did was, I decided to go for a jean that isn't too restricting at the bottom, but it is a style of skinny jean. So it balances out my body proportions. But with this top, it doesn't necessarily do that because it does cut me a little bit in half because I have longer legs and a shorter torso. Um, but you can always, if you want to show more of the jeans and depending on the length of the top, if it's a top that sits where you want it to sit, fine. If it isn't, like, like what I've got here, you can always bring it up a little bit and do a little bit of ruching like that. Yeah, that's brilliant. And then you still got those long legs. If not, the other option is your footwear. So if you want to have the longer legs, and it's probably advisable to go for a higher heel, heel. And I've chosen platform sit there, well, pretty trendy for spring summer 2022. Um, so that's also another option. But um, for styling jeans, a wax jacket, a wax jacket, it's probably the idea it came from the jeans actually. A wax st style jean can be a way of not drawing too much attention to the fact that it's wax, but giving it a complementary top, such as this one or anything else that you feel comfortable wearing in order to balance out the fact that you're wearing jeans that you're probably not wanting to show off too much but you want to give it a go. So that is what this video is going to be about all this week apart from Wednesday because I have to show off what I have refashioned on a Wednesday. So with the exception of Wednesday I will be styling jeans. I'll bring you down to the bus park with me. And the bag I'm going to go for and wear it crossbody is going to be this one. Today I'm going to show you two ways in which I'm going to style my graphic jeans. It's not too many graphics that are happening on these jeans, but I'm going to show you two ways in which I would wear it just to help out a subscriber, as I've mentioned earlier. So, I'm wearing an oversized navy blue men's jumper, v-neck jumper, sweater, and I am wearing also my choker that I've had for many years, I'm going to make a new one. 
and I'm teaming, teaming it with a pair of jeans and also some wedges which I'll show you in a minute. But before I show you my footwear, I'm just gonna show you how I'm styling this and the reason why I'm doing it this way. So like I said, I'm gonna give you two looks today. Um, it's all about, at the moment, it is spring in, it is spring in England at the moment. But someone needs to tell the weather people, because it would be nice if we had a bit of sunshine. Um, so I'm wearing a jumper so that I can keep warm. And also, I am going to add something else to it. It gets a little bit more chilly, which I'll show you in a minute. So, like I said, this is a jumper or a sweater and doing a half tuck situation. Because graphics are kind of like, when it comes to clothing and graphics on clothing, it's very much a very niche kind of uh, young people that wear it. Let's put it that way. And, it's nice to keep in that theme of kind of like giving it a grunge kind of look and putting your own personality on it as well, which I'm going to do, as I always do. So with these, I wanted the jumper to be half tucked in and dressed a bit out because it keeps in with the theme. And also I wanted it to be oversized. But saying that, you can still wear graphic jeans and still have a fitted sweater jumper underneath. But it really is about personal choice. I'm just showing you, showing you options of how, how I would do it and then telling you what possibly you may go for if you didn't want to go for the look that I'm wearing now. So, I'll show you in a minute with a men's shirt. It's not one of them, yes, it's a really fashion one. Um, how I would style it if it was warmer weather. But let's continue with this look. So I need some earrings. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not going to put any rings on, just earrings. There we go. I've also got my hair in the top bun. So it gives myself height. If you're looking for more height, go for wedges as well in shoes. And then I am going to, at some point maybe, wear my scarf, my first scarf. So I'll just have it long on one side and tuck that in like that. So my neck is nice and warm. And do that sort of thing. And this, this is when you come to add your own personal style. You know, your own personal look to how you want to be seen by the world and then I'm going to team it with this crossover bag that I usually wear a crossover but I just wanted to keep him with that kind of grunge look so I put a knot in the handle and I'm going to carry it like that so I'm going to bring down the camera so you can see the bottom half of me so I'm wearing it with my wedges and this also adds height gives you longer legs and I'm also wearing socks as well because like I said it's cold but if you want to wear sandals um go for socks there's no problem wearing socks with sandals no matter what the fashion industry says so that's my first look I quickly change into the second and this is the second look so if it was warmer today I would probably have gone for this look which you can wear with the cami underneath. These are high-waisted jeans, by the way. And, or, you could do without the cami. It's really your personal choice. And I have kept the cuffs long. I've done a turn back. So these are refashioned, the shirt is refashioned. And I've also um, taken in the size, so it's a slimmer fitting shirt for me. How I would kind of want it, if I wanted to add more drama to this, then I'll wear a man's jacket, which would be this one. And then make sure that the cuffs are hanging out at the bottom of the sleeve. There we go. And then my bag, I'll still keep the knot in it. I wouldn't want to wear it cross body, even though that is a possibility. But I'll still want to carry it in my hand. 
So I'm still keeping with that grunge look. It looks amazing with these graphic jeans. And you still got your personal look. Hello, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Pauline Geely. Hello, fashion sewers, how are you? So, my Outfits of the Week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday Outfits of the Week is to inspire you and show you how I would team my refashion projects in with, along with my garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn, and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in order for you to refashion any garments because you as you um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project you can always click on those videos will teach you in depth about certain technique that I will be um, using in a project I can't really do that in my project because my videos will be very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments so going back to my outfits for Friday I hope they are inspiring you and um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take up too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna hold back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah uh, I hope you enjoy it hello this is Wednesday I know I know it's supposed to be about jeans how I style jeans but it's Wednesday and on a Wednesday I upload a refashion project, an upcycle project. This was a trench coat and now it's a trench jacket. Now there were some stains in it that I managed to avoid when I was making this jacket, hence the cutouts here, which is so gorgeous. I love it. Let me just show you the back. And the sleeves. And I'm wearing it with a pleated skirt. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, excuse me, I just admire myself in the mirror. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm going to do a few more upcycled trench coats. Because, because I like sharing and the possibilities. The bottom half of this is going to be I'll probably use it as samples for pattern pieces or, or you know, rags. Um, so it won't go to completely to waste, but I am removing the pocket, so that is um, the bottom half of this coat that I'll put into another project at some point. But let me continue showing you off my trench jacket. And I am going to style it with another refashioned project. Used to be a skirt, and now it's a plait. <laughs> I love this as well. Really, really. I did think it would be a bit too big, but it's it's. You know, you got to show up, haven't you? <laughs> and like I said, it used to be a skirt, and there was no waste to this project. I do believe. Um, so yeah, everything, the whole skirt. This yeah. The, Length of the skirt is inside the bag. <laughs> anyway, I better get on. Um, so yeah, so that's my outfit. I just want to say that there is a link to this tutorial in the description. So please click the description. Please check the description all the time when I do my fashion, um, my weekly fashion videos, because I'll always put links to any of my upcycle projects in the description. Now let's get to looking at the bottom half of me. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I am back in jeans today and tomorrow, but as I'm sure you know and you can understand, I need to, to show off my video tutorial that I upload on Wednesdays. And yes, so that will always more or less happen, won't it? If I come up with a theme of how I'm going to dress, Wednesday is going to be something that I have um, videoed in order for me to do my video tutorials to help you guys out to refashion garments, to be inspired. Anyway, let me talk about what I'm wearing. So you may recognise this. I wore it earlier on in the week. The only difference between me wearing it now and early on in the week is the fact that I'm wearing it inside out. And it's kind of inspired by the whole total look, which I'll <laughs> tell you about as I dress myself. So as you can see, it's inside out. You can see all the seams, including the label. <laughs> Yes, I have been asked, I have been told a couple of times throughout the years that I'm wearing my, that I've got a, a garment on in back to front and when a person has approached me and told me that it's like, yes, I know it's intentional and they look a bit embarrassed and, um, but hey ho, what can I say? <laughs> That's me. Um, so yeah, so do bear that in mind that you can wear your garments inside out, it's fine because anyway I'll shut up and talk about the jeans that I'm wearing. So I've got low rise jeans on, um, boyfriend jeans, traditional jeans, patch pockets, hip pockets at the front, um, yeah, turn them up because of my footwear, not because of my footwear because I always have these jeans turned up anyway, but I'm wearing wedges which I'll show you in a moment. <laughs> and yeah, so let's finish off this look. I'm wearing silver earrings and I've got my choker on and I've got this blazer. Now this blazer inspired me to wear my jumper the wrong way and basically because it looks, it resembles a school blazer and you know you always get kids with their shirts tucked out and wearing sh ties the way they're not supposed to and even wearing their jumpers inside out, I must admit. Um, so yeah, so I'm wearing a blazer. Now I'm calling this a blazer. I usually call these types of things a jacket, but it looks more like a blazer. And help me out here. Do you call a jacket a blazer or a blazer a jacket? Does that make sense? Because I would call this a blazer and I've probably only got about three or four blazers in my wardrobe but I do have quite a few jackets. Anyway, um, so yeah I'm going to put the collar up like so. I'm going to just button the top button so that I can put my hands in my pocket so that I can look cool. And then I'm going to wear it with a bag that I'm going to put cross body, which is going to be this one. So it's a tweed, tweed fabric. It just brings out the blue. There's lots of blues in this as well as pinks and orange and a bit of red and silver hardware, which picks up in my earrings. Place it like that. Yes, that's looking good. And then I'm going to finish it off with silver bangles and then the finishing touch is going to be some sunglasses because the sun has made an appearance and one's got to get ready <laughs> so these blue tinted sunglasses with silver frame just tops off that look i'm just waiting for the uh heat wave that we're supposed to be accept that we're supposed to be having in April. Yes. <laughs> so that's my outfit for today. And I'll see you tomorrow with my final outfit.
my last outfit of the week of styling jeans and I'm calling this the over the top look I piled it all on and I'm also wearing a two refreshing items one is the men's shirt and also jacket it's a female jacket though um, so yeah I'll link any of my refreshing tutorials below in the description so please click on those and be inspired so now today I'm wearing with banana no I think they call them banana sometimes and also balloon shaped jeans I think are gorgeous I just love the way they just kind of contour is it contours contours yeah contours around your body around your legs the only problem is with them is the crotch area on a female you make your mind up but if you're not a person to experiment and do that sort of thing and you've tried them and it's like it's not for you but you do want to still give them a go then go over the top with everything else and that's what I've done today in order to show you that I will still wear these without it being over the top um, but if you're a person who wants to give them a go and you're not sure how to style it then hopefully this particular segment will help you make your mind up so like I said I've gone over the top I've gone over the top with my jewellery I've got my dangly silver earrings I've got this necklace it's black and silver and I've also you see this lots of times and this sometimes as well you've seen this a couple of times and also my oh 1980s earring one left now a necklace anyway so I've also got a belt sitting at my natural waist so it has shortened my torso a little bit but that's all part of the look so that we can get away from the area which you will see in a moment that can draw people's attention to and um, so like I said it's sitting at my natural waist and I've got super long legs today because I'm also wearing some high heels uh, yeah that probably could, should come with a safety warning <laughs> and yes yeah, so I'm going to show you um, the bottom half of me shortly so let me just give you a little twirl and let me finish off dressing myself so I still haven't finished I'm still planning it all on so I'm going to be wearing a ring this ring my index finger because that's adding more to the drama of this outfit that I'm looking for um, I'm also going to be putting on even more jewellery, my bangles. I've got some beads on that hand. Beads and bangles. But I always like this sort of thing when I'm wearing jeans. And yeah, so I'm adding more on. I'm going to go for a crossbody bag. Which is going to be this one. It's a small black bag silver hardware for that cross body brings in the belt keeps everything in portion yeah I've made this put my jacket to the side pose my hands in my pocket yeah that sits yeah that sits really well there still over the top and then I'm going to finish off with a pair of sunnies and I'm gonna go for this one you've seen these this week it's blue with silver frames there we go yes it's over the top and go for big hair if you don't have hair like mine afro hair you know just back home a little bit and you know go for big hair just do, do something a bit different with your hair than you would normally do may also help with your look and yeah now I'm ready to show you the bottom half of me Because 
need to get the message out there to let people know that refashioning garments is the way to go and help and help from you will get me to put that message out there. So what you need to do is click this subscribe button and when you click this subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification button and bell so that you receive notifications of when I actually upload and it would be also helpful if you like this video, share this video and also comment below.